Yesterday we were hanging on to the warm weather, still summer, and it felt like it with a lot of valleys climbing into the mid 80s to mid 90s. Uh, just shy of 100 in St. George, Salt Lake City, we hit 94, and that was running about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. Our average high is 83, and we're still going to be warming up above that uh, today. Our average low is 59, and while it's a little cooler than it was 24 hours ago, we're still running well above that. It's 71 degrees in Salt Lake City. Mid 50s in Logan, low 60s in Moab, temperature in St. George is 76. We had some of the showers still lingering late last night, mainly over western Utah. Those have uh, largely tapered off. So we've got a quiet start to the day and with high pressure still in place over Utah, that's going to continue to keep it warm. But there's a storm that will be dropping down from the Pacific Northwest and moving to our north later in the week. In fact, by Wednesday night, that's going to send a cold front across Utah. Out ahead of that, we'll get gusty winds leading to high fire danger on Wednesday. And then behind the front, there's going to be a northwesterly flow with a cool air spilling in by Thursday, and that'll bring a taste of fall like weather. So enjoy the warmth while we still have it. It'll be partly cloudy today with high of 92, so climbing almost as high as we did yesterday. It'll be 80 in Park City. You'll hover in the mid 80s, low 90s in the western valleys, 82 in Blanding all the way up near 100 again in St. George. And we'll have a chance of more showers and thunderstorms, but dry air is moving into western Utah. So while isolated storms will be possible there this afternoon, uh, they're most likely east of I-15. Some of those could potentially bring some heavy rain, but gusty winds could also be a threat before they die down later this evening. Now tomorrow with the southwesterly flow, patchy smoke moving into southwest Utah, otherwise sunny, Breezy temperature drops into the low 90s in St. George Thursday and Friday and hovers pretty close to that through the coming weekend. And in Salt Lake City tomorrow, it's going to be mostly sunny, but the winds are going to be picking up out of the south and that'll lead to an increase in fire danger that's ahead of the front that'll knock the temperature down near 70 by Thursday. So it really will start to feel like fall. Get a chance of a few showers along the front. Friday will be drying out and heading into the weekend. Nice warm up. Looks like temperature climbs back into the mid to upper 80s by then.